Alright guys, it's time to talk about the tick. There seems to be a lot of conversation online and on social media about this new product and what exactly it does. There seems to be a lot of confusion actually um, about what it does. I've been testing it and trying to figure out exactly what it does and how it works. So here's what I've come up with. The ticks are a Bluetooth device that you activate in the one key app and then you tag it to a particular tool you're able to track that tool um, based off of a Bluetooth signal now what that means is your device or any other one key device has to come within 100 feet of this tick for it to register now that being said your device or anyone else's device with the app has to have all of the settings set correctly where the app is running in the background notifications are enabled Bluetooth is on all of those things have to be set correctly in order for it to alert. Now one misconception has been that if a secondary account comes within range of a stolen tool tagged with tick that that secondary account would be alerted but that is not the case. Only the account holder that has the tick registered to them will be alerted. If you're expecting to have the app downloaded uh, and notified if there's tools that are lost by other people, that will not happen. It may ping based off of your account, but you'll never know it. Only the tool holder will know it. And for obvious reasons, because if you're ping that there's a lost tool, you could then go find the tool, and if you are not an honest person, you could go take that tool and deactivate the tick and now that's your tool. Uh, I understand where Milwaukee's trying to go with this. I just work in uh, a wood shop now but I used to be an HVAC technician uh, on new construction sites, high-rise sites with uh, all different trades and people on the job and have seen tons of tools stolen and never uh, returned or never found. So uh, this can be a very handy tool but there are a couple of things where it falls short. For instance, you're not going to take a tool like this and add a tick to it. That's not going to work. If someone sees it, they're going to take it off. It's bulky, it's cumbersome, it's not going to work. Where the tick is going to prove beneficial is on job site boxes, inside of a work bag, underneath a toolbox, inside of a trailer. Unseen because Literally all you have to do to deactivate the tick is pop the front cover off and pull the battery. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just do you a demonstration of how the tick works and then how it's activated based off of a bunch of tests that I've been running all weekend. And then I will give you my final thoughts on its performance at the end of this video. What I have here is uh, I have two activated ticks. Originally I just had one. I actually had a full video shot um, and edited and ready to post and I did not get very good results with it. So I felt like that wasn't fair. Uh, I felt like I needed to activate two because maybe this one was defective. Um, so now I'm kind of starting over. This one actually I have tagged to my um, laptop bag uh, and this is just a test, test one. This is my one key account. Uh, this one here is my laptop backpack tagged with this tick. And then what I have here is a secondary one key account and my Bluetooth is activated. All of the settings are set to alert. The app is up to date. Take my tick. Turn my Bluetooth off on the account associated with it. And this is the secondary account. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm simulating a situation where a tool is stolen, tick is reported as missing or stolen, and then a secondary account coming within range of it in order to ping it so that you can track it. What I'm going to do is go out of range. I will report this tick is missing. Uh, and then as I come back in range, the secondary account should ping it and we'll time it to see how long that that takes. So let's do that test. 
All right, I've come back within range of an active OneKey account. Uh, now we'll see how long it takes to alert the app that the device has been found. Okay, so this is what it looks like when your device is found and it pings. So I have notifications set up. So you get a, a notification that your item has been found. You also will receive an email. It took roughly about three minutes to ping. And that's what I've found with the testing that I've done. It takes anywhere between three and five minutes of being within range of a device, a tick, in order to ping it. I've done several what you might consider drive-bys where, for instance, someone has stolen your tool and they're on a job site working and a one key account passes by that job site. Uh, and I have yet to get the tick to activate off of that. The only way I've had it activate is with being in range of the tick for anywhere from three to five minutes. I've done multiple tests. All of them have resulted about the same. All right, guys, so to finish this video up, after testing the tick, here's what I've come up with, my thoughts. Uh, other, other people may have different results, but here's what I've found. The tick definitely works, but I guess I'll go through pros and cons first, so we'll do cons. One, you're relying on a lot of variables to happen. You really need a large network of people with the app downloaded, and each one of those people have to have their device settings set up properly in order for them to have notifications, for them to have location services enabled where the app is going to run in the background all of the time, and then they have to have their Bluetooth on. If your Bluetooth is off on your phone, you're not detecting anything. I don't care what uh, settings you have on your OneKey app. So you're relying on a lot of variables. Another con is that the device is, is pretty easily defeated. So if you know what a tick is or you see it, you just simply have to toss it, bust it off of a piece of equipment, or take it uh, the cap off and pop the battery out and now the device is useless. Now the pros are uh, obviously it's going to be able to track your tools. It is not GPS. It's not going to give you a ping mark where you can follow the dot and go find your tools. You're relying on a large network. It's definitely better than nothing. If you have it on a trailer or a big job box then it definitely could be a beneficial tool in order to recover your tools. Uh, I do think that there's been some misleading or lack of information on what the tick actually does and how it actually works. A lot of people think that it's GPS. Uh, I think that it, it has potential. Uh, I think right now, until the network grows, its functionality and its use is going to be very limited. It's definitely not going to be as effective as GPS type tracking. What I've found is that it's not going to ping just by coming within range. You actually have to be within range of the tick for several minutes in order for it to ping. Uh, all in all, I think it's a good idea. You know, if everybody slapped a tick on their job trailer or their job box and everybody downloaded the one key app, then it becomes more a more effective tool. For now, until people really understand it, uh, it's going to be limited. So this is my experience. Uh, like I said, I've done a bunch of testing, tried a bunch of different scenarios, and have pretty much gotten the same results uh, every time that I've done it. So if you've experienced something different, please leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts on the tick, pros, cons, positive or negative, and I appreciate you guys watching.